I have collected all the new legendary iconic weapons in Phantom Liberty. There are around 25, but two in particular are more overpowered than the others, and so you'll want to get them early, to make your time in Dogtown that much easier. They are the Carmen Assault Rifle and the Deserter Double Barrel Shotgun, but the second one, while it's strong, does have a side effect while using it, which I'll go over. I'll of course go over the remaining iconic weapons as well, which some are missable, even the black market vendor won't sell them, so be on the lookout over the next couple of days to make sure you don't miss any of the weapons. We're going to start with the Deserter Double Barrel Shotgun because it's bugged, so I want to get this one out of the way early for anyone who's playing the DLC. And you get this during the side mission or gig for Mr. Hands called The Man Who Killed Jason Foreman. So as I said, this one is kind of broken, but make sure you make a save before doing the mission. And if it doesn't work, you can just reload the save and buy it from the black market dealer, although it will cost a lot of money. During the quest, Jason's friend Brianna and mother want you to find who killed him, and you can search for clues, and that will lead you to an old motel. Inside, you must search for a Rinder, who is inside somewhere, and once you find him and defeat Yasha Ivanov, you can talk with Rinder, but the choice you make will determine your rewards. The one you want to make is when prompted, you can put a gun to Rinder's head, and this will lead him to bargaining for his life, including giving you the keys to his cash. Now for me, the cash is broken and I can't get the weapon, so if this happens to you, then reload the save and don't put the gun to his head. Just kill him instead, and then the gun will be available at the black market, but it's expensive, so you should try getting it from the cash first. Gonna need your dog tag. Hand it over. Here. Take it. So long. But give me some coordinates. Just go there. You'll see. Once you complete the quest, the man who killed Jason Foreman, another one will start called Addicted to Chaos, which will lead you straight to it. When you're inside, all you have to do is unlock the garage door, and then there's a weapon case. Unfortunately, the weapon case won't open, so you can't get the weapon, but it might not be bugged for you, so it's worth a try. This is a very powerful shotgun, but it does have one downside, is that it sets you on fire. But you can kill enemies super quick with it, and it's actually been my favourite gun to use during the DLC, even if I do spend a lot of time on fire. Next, the best weapon you can actually get in Phantom Liberty is the Carmen Assault Rifle. This will be available during the gig mission for Mr. Hands called Balls to the Wall. You start it by talking with Paco, and he will play his quest where he joins the Bargus group with Kurt Hansen, and it's around 10 minutes or so of just how he joined. But after that, he will tell you at some point he's been robbed of a shipment of generators, and he's in trouble, and it's up to you to decide what's the best decision to make. While the different options are fun to play, so I definitely recommend reloading and trying them all, the one you want to get the weapon is to tell Paco to run for the hills. This will allow you to smuggle Paco out of Dogtown, and later he'll thank you with a reward, which is the assault rifle. And definitely for me, the best weapon in Phantom Liberty. Oh, v. Nah, man, I'm sorted. Full speed ahead, yeah? Got in with scavs, starting tomorrow. Got you a present. For helping, right? Fucking pathetic. Oh, it's a souvenir. Last thing I got left from Hansen. Lame to dump it. Got a new life thanks to you. Good to give gifts to friends, eh? You're kidding, right? Scabs? Of all the things you could have been, you choose to be trash. When's the Guinness book? Guys, I have a bunch more iconic weapons coming in the next few days. I will go over all 25 that I've found so far, plus any that I've not discovered, but I'm pretty sure I have nearly all of them. So look out for this, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.